today I'm going to show you how to make Biko with Bukayo topping. I got an inspiration for this recipe from a visit to the Pearl Farm in Samal Island in Davao. I hope you'll enjoy my version. For the latik you need 400 grams Moscovado sugar. If you don't have Moscovado sugar, you can use dark brown sugar. You can also use a combination of Moscovado sugar and dark brown sugar. Two cups of thick coconut milk. For the bukayo, you need one cup thick coconut milk, one cup brown sugar, two cups of grated buko. For flavoring, you need vanilla or calamansi rind. For the biko, you need one kilo of malagkit rice. You wash it two to three times. And you need five cups of water to cook the rice. You put together uh, the malagkit rice and water. And then we will cook this like you cook rice. You can also use a rice cooker if you have one. Let's make the bukayo. You have coconut milk, brown sugar. I am making double recipe of the bukayo because I need it for another recipe. You can make bukayo from freshly grated coconut or from buko. I like the one from the buko better. But you choose the buko which is not very very soft. And then for flavoring, instead of vanilla, I always like to use calamansi rind. This is two pieces uh, rind of the calamansi. And then all you have to do is boil this until the uh, buko becomes transparent. And then the mixture becomes thick. All right. This will take uh, a few minutes. Alright, this is for the latik. I have coconut milk and... Moscovado sugar. By the way, when you make biko, you can also add 1 4 teaspoon salt to the latik. It balances the sweetness. Not too much. 1 4 teaspoon is enough. Here, we can add now the rice, the cooked malagkit. Oh, by the way, you put salt and uh, butter. Butter is optional, 1 4 cup. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. If you soak the rice overnight, when you uh, cook the malagkit, you only put 4 cups of water not five cups and then mix this well you mix the latik and the cooked malagkit until it starts to dry up and then we put it in the baking pan or wherever you want to put it in the mold and then this one if you want to make the regular biko then this is it however this one is special uh, i will put a thin layer of bukayo on top i got the inspiration of this recipe when I visited the Pearl Farm in Samal Island in Davao. This was one of the kakanin which they serve. And I thought Miko with a bukayo on top is a great idea. So when I came home, I tried to recreate my own version. Okay. Now this is dry now, you can see. It's not even sticking to the pan anymore, all right? And then with some butter in your spatula, you smoothen this. Try to level this off. I'm using pure muscovado sugar. As I said, you, if you cannot find muscovado sugar, you can use dark brown sugar. If you don't like the flavor of muscovado sugar, you can use uh, a mixture of uh, brown, dark brown sugar and muscovado sugar. I love muscovado sugar. Moscovado sugar is like brown sugar with a molasses taste. Alright, then we put the topping. We have the bukayo here. As I mentioned earlier, I always flavor my biko with uh, calamansi rind. The peel of the calamansi, not the juice. It takes out the umay from the 
coconut milk. Some more butter for shine. And then let's uh, chill this or let this cool up before we slice and serve.